Hey guys, today we're going to paint a 2.5 square bill and we're going to do it in a crawdad pattern. We've got our 2.5. We're going to use some pearlized colors for this one, but as usual, let's get started out with a base coat. And for a base coat, we're just going to use Createx Opaque White. Just give that good all over cover. That should do it. Give us enough cover on there. We're going to take the heat gun. Put a uh, heat set on that to dry it, and then we'll move on. Now, as with all painting, we like to start with the lighter colors on the belly, work our way up. So for the belly of this one, we're going to go with the Createx Pearlized Lime. And we're just going to put a shot of lime right down the belly. We can go up a little ways on it because we'll end up covering it up on the sides later when we taper it in from the top. There we go, just enough for the line for the belly. We'll dry that, move on. Now we have our pearlized line for the belly. So now for the top color, we're going to stay pearlized with the Createx. This time we're going to go with a pearl copper. So we're going to put a copper down the top. Again, a good coat. We're kind of shooting down the side so we can kind of maybe taper that down a little into the green on the, on the belly. a little bit farther I think. Yeah, that's not too bad. Come a little more down the side. Cover that green a little bit. There we go. Because I'm with a crawdad color, I want to bring the sides down a little bit more than I might normally. There we go, that leaves just enough of the belly. All right, let me put a heat set on that, and we'll move on. Now for the basic body colors, I've got one more do I want to do. I want to make the head a different color from the body. I'm going to move over to Walmart paint, just because I like this palm leaf color. Now, I really thin this down. You always have to thin the Walmart anyway. But I've basically been painting this at about a 40 pound pressure. Now to come back to the head so I don't overblow things onto the body, I've reduced my pressure down to 10 pounds. And by reducing my pressure down, I've got to make sure I've got this thin enough or it's not going to shoot properly. And we'll control how much the air is when you push down, how much paint you put out is when you pull back. So we'll control how much paint we put out by how far I pull back on that. I've got some on here, I need to put more, but I'm going to dry this first so I don't keep putting wet over wet so it doesn't start splashing on me. You always have to be a little careful when you're doing your fine work that you put the air pressure, it'll start, if the paint is too wet, it'll start spreading it out. You'll end up where, with paint where you don't want it. So the easiest thing to do is take a minute, dry it a little, and then move on and go again. Alright, 
let me put a little more dry on that. And we've got it. We've got a copper body. We've got the pearlized lime for the belly. The pearlized copper here. And then as you can see, the, the green, it's a darker green. I wanted it darker than the belly. Now, it, it's not going to shine here. The Walmart paint always dries flat. But just remember, we'll put the shiny top coat on. And that'll add some shine to that head. Now, it's time to move on and make it look like a crawdad. Now, I am not going to be claimed to be anything great at painting crawdad patterns. I've been tried a few of these, and this always gets to be a little more difficult. You can buy uh, stencils that you can clamp right over the top, just spray through the lines, and it's done. But I kind of do it the old-fashioned way. I'm using a piece of plastic that I've cut. This will be my stencil. I'm going to shoot around the edge of this. The key is, if you watch a lot of other people, they tell you the same thing. The key is to spray on the plastic and just let it drift off to the edge. That's what should show up. I've designed this one. I can use it on both sides. I put left on one side and right on the other. I'll probably hold this in such a way you're going to have a hard time seeing it, but that's kind of the way I've got to hold it so I can see what I'm doing. And we'll just have to do the best we can. I've got Createx Opaque Black in. I've kept my pressure down around 10, just where it was earlier. And basically, I'm just going to set this on, pick my spot, get a grip on it here. And again, I just sprayed on this. And then what you hope is it shows up like that. We're going to use the same thing. We'll just come back and do it again and again and again. Come right down this side. Usually three or four is plenty. Kind of wipe the paint off of that before I put it back on. And if you got that real wet, you don't want to smear it. Take it off. Let me get one more on here. We're going to put three on. All right, there's our three on this side. Now, we're going to go around the other side, but how do you make sure you match up one side's the same as the other? Well, now what I do, stand it straight back, and I look right at the back of it. I can see my marks here. So what I'll do is I'll come back with a, another piece of plastic right here. Let me get it around so I can see what I'm doing. And now... I'll just put it right there where the stripe is. There's a mark on the back. And I work from the back to the front so I don't smudge anything this time around. And one more time. There. Now I'm down the side. I've come across the back. So now when I tip it over, I'll know where my marks are. And if you can see, I made a mistake a little bit. This one I got a little too far down here. That's going to show up later because I want to come this way. So we're going to have made a slight mistake on that one. Let's see how it looks when it's done. Turn this over, right side. See, there's that spot not going to show up quite right. Got a little carried away. Still working on my crawdad patterns to see if I can get that a little better. But I'm getting there. Seems like each time I do one, and there's my mistake. You can see it right there. I let that come over too far. Should have came straight up. There's the mistake. But let's come back. I want to put a few speckles on here just to add a little something to this one. For my speckles on here, I'm going to do as I've had before. I'm going to use a toothbrush. I'm going to use a little pearlized plum. The Createx Pearlized Plum. We'll just dab the toothbrush in the plum. 
kind of use your fingers or get a bunch of it off here before we hit it. There we go. Let's turn it over. Do that again. I need a little more on here. There's that fine line between getting too much and not putting enough on the brush. There we go. That'll do me. There we go. My copper craw with a little uh, pearlized plum flaking on there. We'll put some eyes in it and we'll go from there. Well, there you go, guys. There is my copper craw. Like I said, I'm still not the, the greatest at doing crawdad patterns yet. I'm still working on that. But uh, I got the feeling it's probably good enough it'll catch a fish anyway. So thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to our channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.